How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode number 26. Coming in with 75 thieving, let's see what we unlocked. Alright, so I can now steal from the gem stalls as well as I can now big pocket the gnomes. So I've been working on smithing, currently right now I have about 40k till 85 smithing to so just 4 more levels till I can finally start making rune swords. Now I'm really low on money right now so what I decided to do is to finally use up the noted rune bars that I had for a while. The amount of rune bars that I have is about 150 and that should give me roughly about like 2 mil GP which I'm going to use to buy some more nature runes and with those nature runes I'm going to use up the rest of the magic logs that I have. Now I have about 11k magic logs left so that should give me roughly about like maybe like 13 or 14 mil GP which is going to be for sure enough to get myself 89 smithing. Last rune sword has now been elked. In total, I managed to get about almost 1.9 mil. Not too bad. So let's go buy ourselves about 9k nature runes and let's start using the magic logs. 85 fletching has been achieved, which unlocks the ability to be able to fletch magic longbows. While I'm working on fletching, I want to talk about some new cool things that I'm planning to do for the future episode, and that's going to be, of course, starting off from this episode. Now, the first thing is going to be to try to get at least a 99 every two episodes if i can manage to get a 99 and one episode that will be nice but the plan is going to be to try to get at least 199 every two episodes now the second thing that i'm planning on doing is going to be to try to beat some records on crystal matte lamps i'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are familiar what that is but for those people that are not it's pretty much a website that can track your daily experience your weekly experience as well as your monthly experience it's a really cool website and i would highly recommend for you guys to go check it out you guys can also follow along and see what uh, some players are up to over there what they're doing during that day so there's a lot of really cool features so like i mentioned what i'm planning to do is to try to beat the monthly records now i don't really care about beating the daily records and even weekly because anyone can you know just stay up for like 24 hours or something and beat a daily record but the true challenge is pretty much to try to beat a monthly record now the way that i'm going to be trying to beat the records out crystal math labs for the most amount of experience gains in a month is going to be to try to get to at least rank one if i get to rank two that pretty much means that i failed so it's either rank one or nothing and as soon as i get to that rank one it's going to show up that's it i completed that skill and i pretty much never have to come back to it again if someone beats me then of course it doesn't matter since i already got rank one so i pretty much have to get it at least once now i believe the best record that i currently hold right now is going to be the rank two at the most magic experience gained in a month i was roughly about like 600k away from beating you bar over here of course if i tried uh, going for ranks once on crystal math labs earlier then i could have easily beat that now let's look through some other skills and let's see how close i am to beating some records i'm pretty sure that a lot on, on a lot of these is going to be pretty bad so let's look through it all right so definitely for the monthly xp gains i'm nowhere near even close over here <laughs> so yeah most likely the easiest way for me to be able to beat this is going to be to do thieving for a whole month for example like as you guys can see over here uh, sir deja vu he got a lot of experience and that's going to be definitely in thieving so let's check it out so yeah so I can, you can get a lot of experience in thieving now let's look at attack all right so if we look at attack uh getting 20 mil of course in a month is going to be pretty bad so there's no way i'm going to beat that anytime soon so the closest that i can get i guess is going to be to perhaps maybe rank two or three so let's see a defense all right so a defense uh this is not too bad to beat actually in a month i could easily get at least one uh 99 let's see uh strength all right so this is easily beatable as well now hp let's check this out oh my goodness 9 million xp and hp in one month this is going to be pretty tough to beat actually but it's possible of course now range is really easy to do as well i can easily beat this records especially since i'm going to be catching wretched champa till 99 hunter i can easily beat this record which is going to be pretty nice now let's see for prayer all right yeah this is going to be <laughs> really hard to beat 9 million experience prayer in a month all right yeah we already went over magic let's see cooking so yeah cooking is doable as well to beat let's see now wood cutting all right so let's see uh if i can roughly get about like 80 80k xp per hour wood cutting 
let's check this out uh, so this is possible to do but it's going to be pretty hard all right fletching is uh, very really easy to beat this all I have to do is pretty much uh, just collect enough broad arrows and just make those still 99 fletching this is really easy to beat all right so let's see uh, fishing so fishing is going to be I believe pretty tough to beat all right so let's go for far making all right let's see fire making uh, fire making is going to be pretty tough to beat as well let's see for crafting 9.9 million .9 XP so yeah this is a pretty tough one as well so smithing so smithing shouldn't be too hard I believe I can get like 60k per hour let's see yeah it's it, sh it shouldn't be that tough all right let's see for mining mining shouldn't be tough as well I believe I can get like 16 up K per hour with the rune pickaxe mining granite let's see herbler now herbler is going to be very difficult uh, let's see 1.2 million experience now I do have a lot of unfinished uh, rainer potions as well as snapdragon but I'm not going to use those up just for experience that's going to be pretty dumb so yeah this is going to be tough but it's possible if I save up a lot of unfinished potions and right, so let's see for agility all right so yeah this is going to be very hard to beat 24 mil 24 mil agility xp yeah and thieving you know i'm probably not even gonna try that at all because 81 million xp and thieving in a month is going to be very difficult you know maybe it's possible but i have no idea all right slayer slayer so to be able to beat slayer in a month uh to be able to beat 6.8 million experience i'll need to pretty much get let's see at least 200k slayer experience in a day which isn't too hard actually so this is doable this is possible all right it's farming let's check this out oh my goodness yeah this is going to be impossible to beat unless if i do zolra for the seeds so rune crafting let's see let's see so rune crafting is actually very possible to do i currently still have a lot of pure essence saved up if i save even more pure essence i can easily beat this record over here let's see uh hunter hunter is actually really possible as well if i try now let's see so the last one is going to be construction and i'm not really sure the current experience for construction i believe the fastest that you can get is like 40k xp per hour or something like that so i don't remember so that's going to be pretty hard to beat as well so uh let's see and efficient hours plates i highly doubt i'll be able to beat this because yeah this guy has just too high efficient hours played in a month so that was pretty much the current monthly experience range gate for ultimate iron man of course they can change anytime soon you know hopefully they don't go up to some ridiculous rates because someone can just you know grind out something for a month and just get crazy experience which will be kind of you know demotivating because it's going to be pretty difficult to beat some records now i hope you guys are going to enjoy this uh some additional things like you know trying to get at least 199 in every two episodes as well as trying to beat some records on crystal math labs and be sure to let me know what you guys think about this in the comments coming in with 80 crafting which is the level that i need to be able to make myself glories another fletching level has been achieved just 2433 magic logs left well guys, it is finally time that I give myself 99 magic, I'm roughly about like 100 XP away from 99, so I'm going to wait for a few people to stop by, once some people come, I'm going to get that 99, and then we'll go get that cape. Alright, so let's do one more spell, and we should be able to get 99 magic. There we go guys, 99 magic has been achieved, and I now unlock myself the skill cape, as well as, let's see if I also unlocked anything else. Alright, so I believe that's the only thing that I unlocked, so let's go get that cape. Oh yeah, just look at this cave guys, it looks so awesome. So let's also do the emote real quick. Alright, let's see. Well guys, that is going to be it for this 99. Huge thanks to everyone that came out, huge thanks to uh, Pumpkin, huge thanks to Fee Eric, huge thanks to Baby Narwhal, huge thanks to Iron Man Hat, huge thanks to Duke Iron Man, as well as, uh, where is he at? So Mary Xmas, this guy over here, he came out as well. So huge thanks to everyone that came out, guys. After about a week and a half, I finally managed to use up 11k magic logs. It took a bit longer than I expected, but they're finally used up and I managed to get about 
15 and a half mil so let's price that real quick so yeah so almost 15.5 mil which is a lot of money that i can use for smithing so that should definitely get me at least 89 smithing which i'm gonna go for so i'm going to out the rest of these bows and we'll get back to superheating the remaining magic longbows have not been out i ended up with roughly being 10k away from 89 fletching so i just finished that off with some broad arrows now in total i managed to get all the way till 89 fletching which is really nice not only i profited a lot as well as i saved a ton of money that i would have used later on to get myself those fletch levels 84 smithing has been achieved let's see if we unlock anything all right so i can now make rune daggers and members can now make uh, attach sigils to bless spirit shields and create infernal pickaxes mm, pretty cool Another agility level has been achieved, this is the level that I need to be able to use the agility shortcuts to the Trahelium Herb Patch. 85 fishing has been achieved as well and I can now catch dark crabs in the wilderness. That is going to be it for episode number 26, I hope you guys enjoyed, this episode was mostly about skilling. Now what I decided to do for the future episodes is it's going to be try to get the episodes out as soon as I can. Now my plan is going to be to try to get them out at least once a week, maybe about in a week and a half which should be pretty good. Now, to do that, what I'm going to have to do is to pretty much uh, try to stretch out some of the clips. Usually, I cramp in a lot of the progress in one episode. So, starting from now on, I'm, go I'm going to try to get about 10-minute videos. And I'm going to try to extend as much clips as I can, maybe talk about some other things. Before I end the episode, I have really good news for you guys. Now, the internet that I'm using right now uh, got an upgrade pretty much in my area. And because of that, I can finally upgrade to a much better internet for a reasonable price. Now, the internet that I'm going to be getting is going to be up to 18 megabytes downloads, and it's about 1 uh, megabytes upload. It's pretty low, but I'm pretty sure that I can manage to stream with that speed. Now, the most important thing, of course, is going to be to be able to play normally without lag. As you guys can see right now, the lag is horrible as ever, you know. I honestly don't know how I get so much progress done with these kind of lags. But as soon as I upgrade, I should be able to get the videos out much faster and i can be able to get a ton of things done with that so that's pretty much going to be the good news for this episode i hope you guys are looking forward for that because i'm you know definitely looking forward to that it's been so long since i played normally on the internet and like i said you know i honestly don't know how i have the patience to keep playing on such a slow internet so that's going to be it for this episode guys huge thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in episode number 27